Hello viewers and welcome back to episode 53 of Saving Southend with me, Bell Nation. You join me today at a game earlier than planned as we take on Charlton. You can probably tell how we've got on since we last met and what this means today. If we lose or draw, Cardiff win, we're done, we're gone. The championship is no more and we are back in League One. Does that mean I'll get sacked? Who knows? Today will reveal a lot of how the rest of this save is going to go. Roll the intro and let's get into this. Here we are then viewers, after that disappointing Reading defeat where we lost 6-2. We followed that with a 3-1 loss to Stoke where we went down to 10 men again after just 25 minutes and Stoke absolutely annihilated us and beat us 3-1. After that we had a good draw against Brentford where we were 1-0 up. It went 2-1-0, then 2-1 to Brentford where they scored with a weak goal due to Zach Priest making a bit of a mistake. But Sam Anderson in the 73rd minute coming back and getting us a goal to make it 2 all. And then we followed that with a game against Burnley, where we lost 2-1. Malfrin put us 1-0 up, but Maynard Salmon had other ideas, scored a brace in a performance that deserved the point, and we were very, very unlucky. Loads results here sitting in 23rd with five games remaining. We are currently 12 points off Cardiff. As I say, if they win today, we lose or draw, we're done. We are done. We need to win today or hope Cardiff lose, and then games are just games are basically running out for us now. And there's no way of getting about. We're going to get relegated at some point we think but is it today let's get into this charlton game due to an injury to jack parkinson i'm changing the formation back to the trusted 4-2-3-1 formation so the starting 11 is archie may returns from injury as well so he's back in goal brown is at left back medleys and humphreys in the center with mitchell at right back perry and stewart in the middle malfrey on the left bolly in the center and kubalali on the right with lundulu leading the line all or nothing today all or nothing We'll point the finger and tell the boys that just good luck. And that's not really gone down too well. I was thinking if they, we wish them a bit of good luck, they might be motivated by that. But they probably know what's coming. We all know what's coming. Kickoff is here then at the Valley. Is today the day we go down or do we live to fight another day? Four games will remain after this. And the gap is currently at 12 points if all results stay the same. We play Barnsley next. So basically... Lose today, we're down. If we manage to somehow keep ourselves in it by points, we could go down in the next game against Barnsley. The first time it does come to us though, here with Malfrin cutting inside. I mean, we. I've admitting. I'm admitting now that we we're going down. We know we're going down. What I'm more worried about is as Mitchell's in here and oh, and Bolly goes close. Is if I get sacked, what do we do? But we'll come to that when we get there. I'm I'm hoping the board won't sack me. Is what. I'm hoping for and I'd like a strong end to the season basically if we can just get one or two losses I'd be happy with that I just don't want to lose the rest of the, every game that's left this season because I think that just will make my position worse as well in this league it's been a tough league for us it's been a really tough season back-to-back -back promotion it was always going to be difficult especially with the way that we came up from league two I think where we weren't even the favorites to go up that season and we still went up and I think it's showing now that we've got back-to-back -back promotions as we are nil-nil here at Charlton and maybe this squad was just a little bit out of its depth this season. We'll we'll point the finger and say we're happy with the performance and inspired and motivated. As I say, we're keeping our head just above water at the moment for today at least. I have to take full responsibility for this campaign because ultimately it's my signings, it's my tactics that have got us in this position. We didn't have a lot of money. Our, our wage budget is so low in comparison to the rest of the teams that we had didn't have a lot to work with and but we've done what we can done we've done what we can do rather as charlton are in here edmondson always oh, rattled the crossbar there and it remains nil nil 62 minutes gone stewart corner in archie brown and archie brown hits the outside of the post mouth i mean it's a good flurry of attacking spells there but cooper comes out and collects it from the long throw as I was saying, I have to take full responsibility. I've tried to get value for money out of what we've done this season with the transfers we brought in. Unfortunately, that's not happened. They've not been the quality. And 
that book lies with me. If I get sacked, I get sacked. The board are right to do so within their realm, within their reigns. As Charlton go 1-0 up. And if things go this way, we're going down to back down to League One. I'm really hoping the ball will let me stay here for another season at least to fight back into this championship and come back bigger, better and stronger as we are going to the bottom of the table with four games remaining. We are 13 points off Barnsley. Archie Brown with a long, a poor throw in which is cleared by Andre Wisdom. Edmondson brings the ball down, finds Fabima Feb for, for Charlton on this right-hand side. Ball across, it's 2-0. Callum Morton with his 11th of the season. We're fall the trap door's open. The trap door's open and we're falling through. We are falling through the trap door. League One is awaiting next season. It's more my fate that I'm worried about, which I'm sure we'll find out after this. If we do get relegated, the board will be quick to act. I think I don't think they'll wait till the end of the season if they do want to get rid of me. Everything at the moment is a C plus when I last looked. And I'm hoping it'll stay that way. Maltrin's not five point nine which we're going to take him off for because that is unacceptable. We'll bring Middleton on. Bolly, again, if we are here next season, Bolly could be going out the door. He's not had a good season at all. Really, really poor. Well, that's it. We're done. We are done as Barnsley have won. Relegation. Two promotions, one relegation on the CV. Tell the boys we're just unlucky there. I mean, it's been a long, tough season for us. Long, tough season. Barnsley won 2 1 against Portsmouth there. It kept them on 39 points with four games remaining. The maximum we can get is 38. I mean, even Oxford are above us now on 27. We're down. We're done. Let's have a look at our fate and see if it's decided today. And there it is, viewers. We appear to have survived for now. We'll take it. We'll certainly take it. I'm going to play out the rest of the season and we'll come back for a quick squad review and then we'll look ahead to a, what I'm hoping will be a successful League One campaign where we can bounce straight back. Thank you very much for watching, viewers. If you have enjoyed that, the bitter taste of me getting realisated, please don't forget to smash that like button for me. Share this video around. Subscribe to the channel for more content and leave me a comment down below. Am I going to survive the season or will? And if I do, are we going to come straight back up? Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again for more next time.